Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we have the Aurora and this is from Transtech. This is the Transtech Aurora 90. And I'm a big fan of Transtech. I really love what they do and I'm, I'm just one of their basically fanboys. I really do love most of their products out and I've almost gotten almost everything. And so I had to get this one when I saw it. So this is the micro, it's a 90 millimeter micro brushless quadcopter from Transtech. And it is the baby to the uh, lightning so it's pretty sweet so it's like a little you know miniature one now this one just absolutely phenomenal it flew beautiful it's one of the quietest micros I have ever flown in the power and efficiency balance is just absolutely beautiful and another thing that I really loved about it it was basically flying like my six inch quad that means you know just right about to touch the ground just give a little bit of throttle pop right back up so that was just amazing. I really did love it. And I just want to show you a quick video just to see some of its characteristics. However, I will leave you with the FPV footage in a bit. And um, well, I just want to just quickly show you how beautiful it flies. So check this out here. So as you can see right there, boom, pop back, beautiful. And then just again, push back. Absolutely, it just flew amazing. Um, just. I just, um, unbelievably, I just really, 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 really loved it. Um, so, it flew beautiful, it's amazing and everything, it's efficient, um, it's rated for a 2S, but I put a 3S, I put a 3S uh, 500 milliamp battery in there, and just flying it, and I was, you know, after the fifth battery, I was just, I couldn't wait to come back and make the video and tell you this is one of the best micros I've ever flown, um, just overall balance, uh, it's just super quiet, it's unbelievably quiet, however, you know, um, it does have a one millimeter bottom plate. And towards the end of the day, I had a crash and it broke. So I am, I was so upset. I was so disappointed. I was just, it was, I didn't want to fly anything else but this today. It was just that good. I brought a bunch of quads with me. This, as soon as I crashed this, because I was enjoying it so much, I had like 24 lipos charged to fly micros and I just didn't want to fly anymore um it, it was just it's it was so good while it lasted that it was just um yeah so um I'm very upset right now I'm very upset with Transic I expected a lot more so I really hope they do make I'm waiting for now I'm gonna wait for the bottom plates to come in once they do come in I'm gonna actually buy two and put two on there just to make it thicker and I'm gonna try to contact Transtech and Banggood and see if they could contact Transtech and tell them to make two millimeter bottom plates for this and to sell them with two millimeter bottom plates 
because guys this had the perfect balance of everything you know that low end right as soon as you're gonna touch the ground just pop it up and you don't have to give full throttle to jump it back up it, it just pops right back up and it just flies so smooth it was just unbelievable um it was just ridiculous it, it was quiet as a six it was quieter than a six inch and it's just it was phenomenal so let's just check the motors here because the motors here were just absolutely insane these are the sc speed sz speed 1104 7500 7, kv motors so um but these are the stock propellers that it comes with and they give they do give you two sets and as you can see they give you jst 25 milliwatt uh vtx and um <clears throat> and a nice little manual but you know this bottom plate this has the potential and it is one of the best micros i've ever flown in terms of balance not you know the fastest not the most ridiculous one you know such as the iFlight the iFlight just actually really it basically melted my batteries so the outer casing would get it would make the battery so hot it would actually start melting it was ridiculous so um, this one was just that perfect balance. Yeah, I'm not worried about ruining batteries. I can give it full throttle, not really worry about it. And it was just so beautiful until, you know, when I saw it, when I first got it, you know, I saw it was a very thin bottom plate. And I'm actually very disappointed in Transtech. They do have the best products out right now. You know, it's one of the most, you know, I see it as one of the original, um, the Chinese original uh, designers basically because they don't copy anyone they make their own stuff so it's just pretty sweet like look at this guy this guy is just insane I haven't flown him yet but I'll be flying him soon this guy's from Transtech so I'm very upset and now I'm gonna wait until they bring him back in stock and I'm gonna try to find a way to contact Banggood and to contact Transtech about this and hopefully they do make two millimeter bottom plates um, I will keep you guys updated once the bottom plates come in stock or if I do find any um, like I said before, I think I'm going to just get two and then stick both of them together in there. That'll make it more durable, a lot more durable. So this would have been the most perfect all around micro out there if it had a thicker bottom plate. Everything else was beautiful. The video feed was beautiful. No blackouts. None of that bullshit, the death roll stuff. It was just phenomenal. So, I mean, that's all I could really say right now. Um, I, I really did enjoy this so much. And uh, now I'm just going to have to wait to re-enjoy it again. However, nothing broke. Just the bottom plate broke. And it's just a simple fix. These got desoldered off because I hit the pole. And um, yeah, well, that's all I could say. Flight characteristics was out of this world. Uh, it's so super quiet. It was just beautiful. So that's going to conclude it for this video, guys. I really hope it helps someone out there. And if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. See you guys. Take care.